This is Zach and Garth, the podcast. Hello, everybody. Episode 26. Garth, it's the Brecky The Brecky Side. The what best episode in Zach and Garth's history. I didn't. You're I really said it just calling before, it early. I had to say it again because we had to restart the recording, but I say definitely best idea. Justifies me not having any content to bring to the show except for my breakfast. Uh, <laughs> Yesterday, now... Gus messages me and he goes, Zach, can we record tomorrow? I have no content. And then tomorrow <laughs> comes along and he's got no content. Yeah, so I, I, I pushed <laughs> it back so that I would have time to prepare. And then I still barely prepared. So uh, that's kind of me in a nutshell. And um, I, But I would How like good. to just say right off the top of the bat, the world did not want this episode, to, this brekkie so to happen. We have a new enemy of the show, Zach, I'm calling it. Do we? Who is... My salt we have it, shaker. Wait, no, we have... Okay, before we get to your salt shaker, we have some important things that need to be mentioned. Wow, Most you would hold back my salt shaker. We <laughs> have really something very the important. the audience on the edge of their seats here, but fine. Go. Sure, I'm sure you have some more important content than my salt shaker. There is a the reason the on the planning document. It says, Board of Essential Things to be mentioned. First, and we were meant to I clear. decided to blatantly disrespect that. <laughs> we haven't flipped an object, and we've okay, skipped past okay, the first right. two things of essential things to be mentioned. Zach, no, you I cannot am, flip your breakfast. I'm going to be flipping <laughs> a bit of capsicum. Do you want the shiny side or the underneath side? The underneath side, thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let me <laughs> grab this bit of capsicum. Just gonna. Sorry, you can't see it. I'm holding it up for the camera. So, no, uh, yeah, I can assume the camera can see it. <laughs> yeah, I can trust it. Le- wait, what side did you guess? Sorry, I guess the un- I guess <laughs> the the not shiny side. Ah, oh, well, it landed. Wait, the non shiny side up. Yeah. Well, it landed the shiny side up. So, oh, welcome everybody to <laughs> Zach and Gus episode twenty six. Um. Okay, yeah, can we get to I, the very like, first? We should have mentioned what we're having for breakfast on the breakfast. Oh side. yeah. Okay. Well, that's, I was sort of leading into that, like that linked to the salt shaker being the enemy of the show. They were like, sort oh, of okay. Well then talk. I'll get to the very essential thing. Then we can talk about our breakfasts. Hi okay. everyone. Um, for good reason, because there were like 66 swears in last week's episode. Don't quote me on that. Um, we're no longer bleeping swear words. So all oh, the swear words. Oh, fuck. That's pretty cool. You would have wanted a bit of a buffer for people to <laughs> yeah, tune up. That's bleeped, isn't it? No, no, no. Bleeped? The C word is the C word is still getting bleeped. So please don't use the C <laughs> word. Bleep. But, <laughs> the whole point of this is to avoid the bleeps. Okay, um, okay. I won't say the word bleep again. <laughs> <I'm just freaks. laughs> uh, one last thing that needs to be mentioned is last week when we announced the website, most people would have gone to the website on their phones. The website wasn't I know exactly I did. working for phones and you couldn't actually see the menu. So all you got to see was the homepage that said, this is a homepage. So the website now has a whole lot more stuff on it because I fixed it. Now cool. back to the um, regular brekkie programming. All right. We have a new enemy of the show. This has never happened to me before, but this morning I was making breakfast for the brekkie so Bacon and eggs. What, what, what are you having, Zach? Uh, everyone already knows you're having toast. I'm having toast. I've just taken a bite of my toast. I was making you bacon and eggs. You can see our brekkies on the video version. Zach and Gus on YouTube. Also, we have a highlights channel. Now, as you can see here... There is no egg on my plate, and that is because of the enemy of the show, my salt shaker. I had just made some fucking fantastic looking scrambled eggs, I'll say. And I'm sure I'm they just, were. I'm just sh- shaking some salt on them. This is <laughs> say shake salt. I was shaking some salt oh, onto yeah, them. Oh yeah, you shake salt like this. <laughs> yeah, I was shaking some salt onto them, and the fucking whole lid 
just decides to pop off and my whole plate gets covered, like buried in salt. I should have taken a photo of it, but I didn't. But my whole eggs got buried in salt and I just had to throw them this out. This seems to happen a whole lot more than what people imagine. Like, I hear stories about this all the time. Schultz shaking industries only have like one responsibility and that is to make a properly good Schultz shake salt shaker. I think they should do that properly. Also, I'm going to try my best to edit out in the audio the sounds of us chewing. So I do apolog- apologize if some of it slips through, but it is the brekkie episode so you are probably going to hear some sounds of us chewing. All right. Um I think you're doing a quiz, aren't you, Gus? Yep. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is what happens when you eat food on record. It was never going to go well. <laughs> this this was a terrible idea. I mean, no, when you eat I know food it was a terrible record, idea. I tried to cancel it three times and you're like, no, it's a good idea. It's my only content. We for promised the week. it to the listeners and whether they like it or not. They are now going to receive it. Uh, but we break promises to the listeners every single week. And I just thought that this shouldn't be one of those. Anyway, uh, yes, Zach, you're correct. Okay, can we get to the quiz instead of you eating bacon? <laughs> yep. Just a minute. We need to finish our breakfast. Maybe the audience the wants... Maybe the audience wants more of us eating. Maybe that's the content that they really tune in for. No, I don't understand why our audience really tunes in anymore. As I said last week, we are growing a steady base of listeners for some reason. And the content we've... Literally, so in the past three weeks, we've had some pretty solid episode downloads. We had the backup episode as the first week of that. So people, after listening to 40 minutes of us ramble (laughs) about that... Maybe it's a side... Maybe it's a side, Zach, that we just shouldn't be well prepared. Maybe the less prepared we are, the more enjoyable this show is to listen to. I don't know. Anyway, you're right, Zach. I have prepared a breakfast quiz. You were supposed to prepare breakfast facts, but you didn't. Um, I decided I didn't want to spoil the quiz because I knew you wouldn't put sure, enough research in. Sure. I didn't want to see the answers. Oh, so yeah, you're, now you're calling me out. You didn't do your part because you thought I would put too little effort into mine. Wow. Okay. Yes, I did. Well, it consists of five questions, and I struggled to come up with even these five questions. <laughs> <laughs> I told you so, Zach, Matt. I told you so. We're, we're starting off with. Uh, should be a pretty easy one. Why is breakfast called breakfast? Because breakfast is called breakfast because you're breaking the fast from dinner where you haven't eaten for like 12 hours. Yeah, I, that's the answer. Correct. Um, all right, Zach, next question. The uh, world's first breakfast st- cereal was created in what year? 1757, 1863, or 1912? I'm going to go the middle one. 1863, thank you. You are correct. The world's first breakfast (laughs) cereal was created in 1863. And fun fact, it needed to be soaked overnight to be chewable. Why? What the hell was it? I didn't look that far into it. I just apparently you needed to soak it all night. It was probably just some I really hate toast solid so much. wheaty stuff. I don't know. Um Okay. <laughs> this is like as the questions go on, you can really tell that I was starting to struggle at this point. Oh um, no. I took a BuzzFeed quiz that said it would determine my age based on the breakfast that I ate. How old did it say I was? 10 plus? Do I get 20 plus? Or 30 plus? What what cereals did you enter into it? Do I get to know that? Uh, no, so I, it was like coffee, bacon, eggs. That was about it. <clears throat> mm. I'm going to go 30 plus. You are correct. And I was quite Woo-hoo! offended. But I, I do eat, I guess, a 30 plus year old's breakfast. Um... So I just gotta. I'm smashing them. Well, I've won. I've won the brekkie quiz. Woo! 
Yeah, and you've already won. So for glory points, Zach, what percentage of teenagers skip breakfast? Is it 25 to 50, 50 to 75, or 75 to 100? Hmm. Look, if you asked me to pinpoint a number, I would have said 50. I'm going to go 50 to... S- oh, I'm going to go 25 to 50. You are incorrect. It was 50 to 75%. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> um, okay. And finally, finishing it off, possibility to get one more glory point. What did ancient Egyptian peasants drink with their breakfast? I haven't given any options here, so you're just going to have to... Go for a wild guess. That's really not fair. (laughs) Well, you've already won, Zach, so I think it is fair, because even if you don't get it, you still won, so... That was glory points. I'm gonna... Blood. (laughs) Holy shit. No, it was not blood, it was actually beer. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, um, start, unfortunate start the news day off for you with guys. a Bruskin. I've done that before too, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> unfortunate news. This means I'm now on top of the leaderboard, the game's leaderboard. For oh, the first no. time in... The, f- the first time ever in the podcast no, history, I think? I... In the podcast history? Well, actually, yeah, since... Oh no, it's a tie though, so I'm not clean out. I think I've we've I think oh, we've been tied. You're not before. even ahead. No. <clears throat> it's a tie. Wow. Um I've got some Well, we're all greedy guys. As he goes yeah. and eats the biggest piece of bacon I've <laughs> ever seen. That piece of bacon was longer than his head, I reckon. He's still stomaching it. Jesus Christ, guys. This is an audio-based medium. You can't just take your mic out for like 15 seconds to take a bite of food. I can... If I can hear you chewing, that's too loud. Oh my God, it's now nearly 20 seconds of... When you said it's an audio medium, I purposely went really close to the mic so that the chewing sounds would be ultra loud. Uh, you if so you much. want us to do a whole episode of ASMR no. eating sounds, hit us up, Zach and Gus show <laughs> at gmail.com or at Zach and Gus on Instagram. I don't know if you remember, Gus, um, we did at two ASMR segments on the three radio shows we did. <laughs> oh, they yeah, we really actually bad. did. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it of was, course. Well, both why of did them we were... ever think that would be a good idea? <laughs> well, okay, so the first time we did it, we were running out of content. And because we were going to do the cracker off and someone didn't have the cracker off edited in time. So (laughs) (laughs) we replaced it with fill in content. And I was like, why don't we do ASMR and turn off the lights? So we turned off the studio lights and started stroking the microphones. And it really wasn't great. I'll give you that. And I'm pretty (laughs) sure we are now pretty sure we killed it off in one of the radio shows vowing to never. Is that all we did? We just stroked the mics. (laughs) I'm pretty sure, yeah. Just I'll imagine a... being in your car, like driving to like your night shift or whatever reason you would be tuning into Sin between 2 and 6 a.m. And you just hear two guys stroking the microphones. <laughs> Honestly, I think that, that's... I think it's good content, quality content. No, it's not good content. It'll never make a return. I almost offered to put a snippet of it in the podcast. If all of you request it, we it. won't be able to say no. This is a call out. Everyone listening right now, go and request the ASMR episode. On, on good one thing of our pipes. nobody nobody contacts us, so that's good. No, I I, um, I do like it. Multiple call outs to the audience, like every episode, and we never get any responses. So. That's great. So, yeah, that's but, on uh, you epi- uh, listeners for making us feel lonely. Um, okay, some content, Gus. Some actual content for once. David Attenborough. We mentioned him last week. Um, he's still alive, fun fact. Attenborough. He visited a family holid- on a family holiday. He visited uh, the tiny European country of Malta more than 50 years ago. And he found a prehistoric shark tooth fossil. Now, 
He gifted it to the new one of the newest members of the royal family, baby Prince George. He's not baby, he's like five. But like, so that happened. Can you stop eating, please? <laughs> it's the brekkie show, you gotta stay on theme. Oh yeah, so uh, um, <laughs> yep, yep. Malta is unhappy about this, and Malta wants to take the prehistoric shark tooth off the five-year-old. So Malta is at war with David Attenborough or this five-year-old? Malta is at war with a five-year-old from the royal family. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Are they going to get it back? Are there, like, laws that will... Well, so the Maltese cultural minister... Jose Herrera uh, pledged to investigate if the sh- sh- tooth should be returned to display on the island. Imagine being that selfish that you're trying to steal a gift off a five-year-old. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I well, imagine to being say about the this. five-year-old and having to hand over a tooth to a nation. Yeah. <laughs> I have really nothing to add to this. I mean, I don't think you really have had... It's it's not an easy thing to add to. No. Do you want to do you want to hit us with some egg content? Egg content. This will yeah, this always <laughs> brings a high to the show. Whenever eggs are brought up, I mean, we'll just chuck this in here. <laughs> Uh, for the audio <laughs> listeners, Angus has literally got a glass of water that appears to have an egg in it. <laughs> well, I need to compose myself before I start talking. As you can see from that or hear from that, you should be watching the YouTube version, but this is your choice. Uh, egg content really Thanks. is fucking hilarious, isn't it? Zach. It is not that hilarious. When an, egg, an egg, when an egg appears in a cup, <laughs> sometimes you just can't help laughing for half an hour. Um, it, it happens to the best of us, and I'm sure everyone listening can relate to that. But that is not. No, what this I'm egg sure nobody can relate to it. Now, Zach, as I was researching for the egg quiz, I found out that um, an egg, are you doing an egg quiz? <laughs> no, no, no. no. No, I meant the breakfast quiz. So it has been (laughs) discovered, apparently, I don't know who made this discovery because I didn't really read into it much. Apparently, there is a link between the way you cook your eggs and who you are as a person. So, Zach, we are going to determine who you are as a person. How do you like your eggs, Zach? Um, I like them sunny side up fried. Sunny side up fried. Oh, no, 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 no. Double side fried. Okay. Fried egg fans have a high sex drive. Would you agree with that, Zach? Not really. Well, the eggs don't lie, Zach. You're a fuck machine. So you don't don't actually get any choice in this. The eggs eggs don't fucking lie. The eggs have decided that I'm a fuck machine. Okay, thanks. Uh, and I can't show off my scrambled eggs right now, but apparently I, as a scrambled egg lover, am more guarded. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what I'm guarding against. Apparently I'm just a more guarded person. Maybe it means what if someone it guarded- stabs me in the chest, I'll be safer than others because I eat scrambled eggs. You'll be safer than me who's more focused on fucking. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so Zach is now officially the show fuckboy and he's never gonna be able to get What? That you're title. the one who was wearing condom, <laughs> not wearing condoms. You're the fuckboy of the show. No, that just means I'm reckless when I have sex. Doesn't mean I have a lot of sex. <laughs> um, guarded means cautious and having possible reservations, which is not you at all. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't even guard myself against STIs. I think they got this one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. I think I they got mine wrong as well. I'm happy to do a swap. All right, I'll take high sex drive. You take more guarded. Um, does that mean we so have to actually stop eating our favorite kinds of eggs now too? I hope not. I don't really like egg. Fuck egg. I love egg. I go through like multiple cartons of egg a week. That's sad. 
And it's kind of weird. Like, h- half of it I just put in cups and laugh at for a while, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a big week in the Big Brother household, Gus, of 2001. So we're doing Zach's Big Brother 2001 recap. Okay. Um, so this is some backing for... Actually, no, stuff that. Instead of doing that, I'm going to use... Where is it? Uh, give me a second. Quick one second. We're going to do the entire Big Brother theme, which goes for about three minutes. It's a bit of a weird... I'm eating it's bacon. A, it's got an extended three-minute theme, which is kind of weird. Anyway, getting into the Big Brother 2001. Um, I got a bit bored, and now I've got a Big Brother ringtone and text tone. How cool is that? <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> That's really cool. It goes dun, 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 when I get a text, and then it plays like this when I get a call. Um, it's really problematic because I've got a 30 second snippet of the song for when I do get a call, but I like listening to it so much. There's a crescendo in the last half a second, so I've got half a second to pick up my phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I um, don't set my ringtone as anything anymore because I always used to just listen to the song and ignore the verse. <laughs> It's a good song, so I now I just no leave my phone on silent all the time and don't pick up to anyone's calls. Zach could attest to that. I unfortunately can attest to that. Um, okay, so big things happened this week. On the cameras, they caught Peter kicking the chickens. So they have chickens for a constant supply of eggs. What? And Peter it's was a bit of an ironic of name for someone c- kicking chickens, Peter. I don't get it. Peter? Animal rights group Peter? Peter? Oh, Kitten right. Kitten's Peter? Yeah. So the, it <laughs> I thought that was a good joke. one. Fuck you. It's a shit joke. I'm trying to tell you about Big Brother and I'm almost <laughs> halfway through it and I've only touched on one of the four things. Oh, three things. Okay, we're fine. So essentially, it started off with him just shooing the chickens and then he pushed one off the ledge and then he started full on whacking about four of them and then he booted one into the chicken pen. Okay. And that was pretty bad, but it gets worse because the Australian public was like, oh, we don't like that. So Big Brother, as punishment, they were like, do you want to lose half of your weekly shopping budget or do you want to make Peter look after the chickens for a month? And I can guess, you can guess what happened. Peter now has to look after the chickens for a month. So the chicken abuser is in charge of the chickens. (laughs) <laughs> I don't even know why are there chickens at the Big Brother house? What what are they there for? For eggs, so the Big Brother contestants can have eggs. Anyway, I've got a quarter of the song left and I've still got two things to get to. They've got a new housemate. The new housemate is a dog, a Kelpie. Really cute, but then someone brought up that the dog is definitely dead because the series was 19 years ago, and that's really hurtful. Wow. And lastly, oh, we're about to hit the very good part of it, so just wait for that. I'm dancing. Give me a second. In the last uncut episode of the year of that I watched, um, sorry, it's not of the year. They beefed up someone having a horse cock for the entire show, and that they didn't show it until the very end of the 40-minute show. And then his cock wasn't actually that big, and I'm like, it's not giant. It's definitely not a horse cock, and that's all my Big Brother content. Wow. Nothing more disappointing than a horse cock tease. Um, yeah, I know. I thought they were really going to, like, show us a lot of... It, and, like, it was, like, a small snippet while he was in the shower. And they just zoomed in on it. And it's, like, it's not that big of a horse cock. <laughs> that would I be so even weird. Just taking cock. a shower in this house. And there's someone just standing in the corner. <laughs> zooming in on your dick slowly. <laughs> It wasn't someone standing in in the corner. It's like one of the security cameras, but you can oh, hear when they okay. move and okay. zoom. So if you're, I the thought only it was just a dude bathroom, standing in front of him, like slow zoom on that crotch. <laughs> no, I don't, that would be very <laughs> awkward. That would be a boner killer for sure. No wonder he didn't have a horse cock. <laughs> Alrighty, um, um, oh, bread. Bread, bread, <laughs> bread. I was looking for my next thing, and bread. 
So yep. I have. This is my last piece of content for the day, and you might be thinking, Gus, you've brought jack shit to the show so far, and that's right, <laughs> and that's how we're gonna end it. Uh, Subway bread. I like how you're talking about bread. ending it. Twenty five minutes in. <laughs> Subway bread isn't bread, according to the Irish Supreme Court. I saw this. How fucking interesting. <laughs> So, Subway was wanting to get, like, a lower tax rate on their bread because under, uh, um, um... Irish standards, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, under some sort of I tax... I read the article oh, as well. I feel like foods, I know more about you. <laughs> <laughs> staple foods have less tax applied to them. And then the Irish Supreme Court was like, no... Your bread isn't technically bread because I think they have like a rule that if the bread is more than 2% sugar, it's not classified as bread. It's like in the same classification as like cakes and pastries and shit. And Subway's Mm. bread is like 10% sugar. But fun fact, they're still allowed to call it bread. They just have to pay taxes for it as if it's not bread. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all I have to bring about that. <laughs> I just thought it was funny Jesus that the bread Christ. isn't technically bread. Uh, but would that be I'm all of their bread? The p- like, or just their white bread? Because yeah. I wouldn't imagine, like... Mate, they would I put mean, a lot I've, of sugar uh, in all of their breads. Subway no here, way. I always get, like, the rye one, and I wouldn't have imagined that it had a lot of sugar in it. But, well, I mean, there's, I guess... We won't be able to officially does. find out, but it definitely... Yeah. Has more than 10% or whatever. More than 2% sugar. Well, cool. That's all I have to bring to the show today. Uh, Thank you guys for listening to my segment of the show. Uh, I am going to have very little to add for the rest of the time that we have today. (laughs) And my my sincerest apologies for that. But also... Ah, uh, fuck. Maybe, I, maybe I'll prepare better next week. <laughs> Please do. Um, TikTok, Gus, we have a TikTok and you all should follow it because we're actually posting TikToks. It's at Zach and Gus. Uh, lots of quality Zach and oh, Gus my, TikTok Oh, my video content. stopped. Okay. Back on TikTok. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're just going to ignore that cut because Gus just loudly told us about how his video stopped. Um, Digging the talks, talking the ticks. Blah, blah. TikToks, we have a TikTok. You should definitely follow it because we post TikToks to the TikTok. Follow it at Zach and Gus. Follow the fucking TikTok. Anyway, TikTok is pretty res- pretty influential when it comes to inspiring people to create online trends. Would you agree with that, Gus? Oh, absolutely. So, um, then some of these. I really want to make a TikTok in- where I write the word "talk" on a piece of paper, put a little checkbox in front of it, and then tick the talk. I reckon that'd go viral. Do you reckon that'd go viral? Yeah, I reckon you should definitely post it on your TikTok. <laughs> Not on our TikTok, though. <laughs> oh, no. We're, when when lockdown ends, we'll meet up and we'll get a video of us both ticking a talk. Unless you want to send me a video of you doing that and then I'll use your video and I'll and your audio and I'll create a TikTok of that. No, nah, that sounds like too much effort. Okay, fine. I'm cleaning up my breakfast now. Um, Anyway, TikTok creates a lot of trends. You would agree with that. Now, unfortunately, some of these trends... When you've got a bunch of 12-year-olds and idiots starting trends, they're not going to do their research when it comes to these trends. And quite unfortunately, a tattoo trend started during the week. And it was you get a Gen Z tattoo to show that you're A in generation z and b that you've survived and that you're the strongest generation because you've gone through the toughest time blah 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 gen z is are our age they're they're dumb now <laughs> trust the gen z's Wait, to so how research are they, what how are they doing these tattoos oh like so they all were going to do the exact same design which i'll tell you about in a second um but essentially they were going to all get this tattoo. But the problem is the tattoo they were all going to get was a Nazi symbol. 
Wait, the what? Video went viral. The video Who made, went viral. Wait, yes. Who P made this the trend? Who was like, what? How how can that even become a trend? Surely everyone would just see oh swastika and be like, no, I'm not tattooing. No, it wasn't that a swastika. It's the oh. German wolf's wolf's angel. So it's a Z with a line through the middle of it, but it okay. looks very. And Angus, you can put images up on the screen right now. The images. wolf's angel. It's an infamous oh, Nazi images, symbol. Images. The video went viral. People actually got tattoos of it. And then about three days later, it was like, wait a second, it looks a whole lot like it's a Nazi symbol. Nazi symbol. And now a bunch of Gen Zs permanently have a Nazi symbol tattooed on them. <laughs> and I think that really... Them right. <laughs> I think it really highlights the incompetence of our generation. Yeah. I mean, to, to be honest, be I wouldn't... Do... <clears throat> I wouldn't have known what it was if I saw it, but... Uh... I also oh, yeah, wouldn't same. get a tattoo from a fucking TikTok video. And like, if you just were to never get a tattoo do that. from a TikTok, why would you want a tattoo to symbolize that you're a Gen Z? And why would you want this, like, a tattoo that everyone else has? Like, wouldn't you want if, something a bit more unique? Yeah, like an actual swastika. Don't Shut do the fuck that. Up. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Zach and Gus does not support that. We do not. Ah, uh, so Zach, um, contacting Esther Heidi. It's been. Okay, this is so my piece of content. I decided to bring this to the show today. Zach definitely didn't just color it um, in my color. I don't know. We're gonna uh, blah blah blah. About three months ago, this happened <laughs> for the first time ever. Our email got the most interesting email we've ever received. Wow. From Miss, es Miss Esther Heidi on the 17th of June. Subject, greetings, dear friend. Am I the friend or are you the friend? I think we're the friend. I see. Greetings, dear friend. I'm happy to know you, but God knows you better. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> All right. And he knows why he has directed me to you at this point, so do not be afraid. And then the next email was this. Unfortunately, I'm in a hospital in Israel where I've been going undergoing treatment for my cancer. I have lost my ability to talk, and my doctors have told me that I only have a few months to live. By the way, guys, this is a scam. That's why we're treating someone so badly. Let's let's ignore her and email back in four months. Do you want to set a reminder for that? Yeah. Hey and Siri. And we'll be like, hey, you're bullshit. Set a reminder for four months to reply to Esther Heidi. <laughs> it has now been a few months. The scammer should be dead, so it's time to reply to her. Alright, let's do so it. I think... <coughs> Dear Esther. <laughs> Are you dead, lol? Are you dead, lol? <laughs> you said you only had a few months to live. Hope not. We want... Some of that sick fund Z with a Z. Oh, hell yeah. That should just be like your last day left to live and receiving that email. It, it's a scam. Yeah, the, the main thing that didn't make sense about it was uh, she was like, oh, she needed us to... What did she want us to do again? I don't know. Oh, she wanted us to take money off her. Because she didn't have any way to... Like, she didn't have any way to... Oh, yeah, she wanted us to, to donate it to charities and shit. Oh, yeah, and she, she was had a computer where she could donate yeah, the she money to charities Yeah, she could have done it from her computer herself. instead of emailing randoms to do it for her. Ah! Uh, Is there anything else we want to add to it? We've got, Dear Esther, are you dead, lol? You said you only had a few months to live. Hope not. We want some of that sick funds. All right, can we just give an update when... When Esther replies, sincerely, your homos, Z Dog, and G Rice. Are you cool with that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's been sent. We'll give you an update when Miss Esther Heidi replies. Lastly, but not leastly, 
as we try and fill an unspecified gap of time in the podcast because this is going to be a short. I reckon this might be a shorter one. Shit. Yeah, I'll Thanks, admit Gus. this. This podcast in general, I, it kind of feels like it's been a, a a bit of a shit one. Not gonna lie, <laughs> um, mate. We can't say that for four consecutive weeks. No, no, no. no. I think last week's episode was great. <laughs> I think this is the okay. first sh- shit episode that we've ever done. No, last week, and I quote you, you said... What did I uh, say? <laughs> every 25 episodes, you're allowed to have a shit episode. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that counts for the episode after as well. A little known fact. <laughs> uh, that I didn't um, specify it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, true. so that's that. But... A big trend that's been happening quite recently. It popped up literally out of nowhere, Among Us. I'm sure you've seen people playing Among Us, Gus. Yes, I have. I have, along with Fall Guys. Yeah, I think... Uh, look, Fall Guys isn't... I haven't... Uh, the, the problem I've got with Among Us doesn't really follow on to Fall Guys. People need to shut the fuck up about their Among Us games. I don't give a shit if you're the imposter... <laughs> I don't give a shit if you died within 30 seconds. Stop fucking talking about Among Us. I don't give a shit. Now, who's who who in your life has caused you to bring this to the podcast? Because I haven't had anyone around me talking about Among Us. See, I don't know what you did so well to get good people around you. Everyone I know will not shut up about Among Us. I'm playing Among Us tonight. Oh my god, want to play Among Us with me? No, I don't. Fuck off. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've barely... I don't know shit about the game because no one's talked to me about it. Uh, it looks mildly interesting. Don't really know how it works. From what I understand, uh, one Essentially, person is you like, need around eight friends... Which is a lot. I don't have that many. Yeah, um, fuck that. I'm, play- I'm never going to be able to play this game. <laughs> Call it it. Um, and you've got to... You're in a map. There's one person who's an imposter. And you've got to kill... The imposter has got to kill everyone. And then if you're a crewmate, you've got to spot a dead body and then vote on who the imposter is and kick them out. But you could accidentally kick out another crewmate of yours. The point is not to spoil it. The crewmates win if they kick out the imposter and the imposter wins if there are only two crewmates left because then obviously, yeah, Mm. it's impossible for them to win. Cool. So so that's Among Us for you. It's a shit game. I've played it. It's really not that much of an amazing game. Um, Well, it would only work if you knew everyone you were playing with. Um, yeah, so like, uh, I, okay, I've played a game with people I know, and I've played a game, an online game. I'm, I will say, where I knew the people, it was ten times more exciting, but it's still not that fun at all. Like, yeah, because it's very easy for a meme to start where it's just like, oh, let's all kick white every round because it's funny. Now, even though I found that hilariously funny because it made me win a heap of times because I wasn't white, that's really not that fun of a game. It's not. No. It's not a fun game to be completely honest. And I think people need to shut the fuck up about it. It's really been infuriating me. All right. Well, on that note, uh, (laughs) (laughs) do we have the podcast? I I don't even know if we've made it to 40 minutes, mate. (laughs) I don't think we should. We've got no reason to. Um, What a mess. Tune in next week. Next week will be... Oh, so, so packed. Packed full of content next week, will we? That really reminds you me of last week when you said, oh, tune in next week. The Brecky sode is going to be so well, good. We're going to have so okay. much Brecky content. See, the problem with the Brecky sode was be- that I kind of used it as an excuse to just let all the content be Brecky related, and uh, then I realized Brecky isn't that interesting at all. So next week we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming, and it'll be a, a banging episode um, of Zach and Gus, I reckon. Oh, sweet. We'll see you guys next week. That brings us to the end of another Zach and Gus episode. You can like us on Facebook, Zach and Gus. You can follow us on Instagram, at Zach and Gus. And you can contact this show anytime by emailing Show at gmail.com. 
make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you next week.